Chief Minister Nafi Rio calls for a meeting with Apex Eastern Nagaland bodies on November 26th at Chamukadima. Meeting expected to crucial to be amid crucial frontier Nagaland demand and decision taken by the organizations to abstain from upcoming Hornbill Festival. Nagaland government inquires on the killing of two Indian reserve jawans at Lamhai Namdi on November 22. Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton states that those found guilty will be punished as per law. Sand Stockist and Suppliers Union of Dimapur and Shumakudima, along with Assam Sand Supply and Truck Owner Association, lifts ban on import of sand from Bokajang side of Assam on Friday. But ban on sand import remains indefinitely from Manja side. Meghalaya Chief Minister Kongrat Sangma along with state delegates meet Union Home Minister Amit Shah in New Delhi to brief Mukro firing incident. Shah assures Sangma of a Central Bureau of Investigation probe into the November 22 incident that claimed six lives. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reiterates his anti-dynasty political speech, saying no individual or relationship bigger than nation. Modi's remarks attending the conclusion program of 400th birth anniversary celebration of Assam's Ahom General Lachit Borfukon in Delhi. Welcome to Nagaland TV. You're watching NLTV News Now. I am Yashira and now the news in detail. Chief Minister Nafurio on Thursday called upon the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization, Eastern Nagaland Women Organization and Eastern Nagaland Students Federation along with all the Eastern Nagaland Region Tribal Hohos for a meeting on Saturday at 5 p.m. at Rododendron Hall at Central Police Officers Mess in Chumukadima. It may be mentioned that the meeting is going to be held at a crucial time when ENPO is demanding Fontaine Nagaland, while they also decided to refrain from taking part in the upcoming Hornville Festival until the demands are met. Sand Stockist and Suppliers Union of Dimapur and Chumukadima, along with the Assam Sand Supply and Truck Owner Association, have agreed to lift the sand prohibition on the Bokajan side of Assam on Friday. Although the problem has not been resolved to its logical end, but the ban on sand will remain in place indefinitely on the Manja side of Assam. Notably, all stockists and suppliers were ad admonished to take note and notify the signatories if anyone is found violating the ban. Furthermore, the unions also decided to establish price of sand for all stockists and suppliers and resolved to regulate the pricing in order to control the self-style fixation of sand prices. They also urged the general public to report if anyone is found selling sand beyond the fixed price. Reacting to the November 22 Mukro firing incident along Assam Meghalaya border, the Naga Students Federation has condemned the incident by calling it barbaric and anti societal act. Issuing a statement on Thursday, NSF further extended its deepest condolences to the brief family members of six people who lost their lives. Federation appealed to concerned authorities to follow due process of law through an impartial probe to settle the issue amicably at the earliest possible time. NSF also said that such type of incident outraged the sentiments of the entire Northeast region. NSF also appealed for peace and unity in the region.
following the killing of two Indian Reserve Jawans at Lamhai Namdi, which sparked controversy across the state, Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton on Thursday stated that a case was registered and a probe into the matter has started. Patton further assured that thorough inquiry would be conducted to determine the circumstances and other relevant facts so that defeating punishment is handed to the guilty as per law. The Deputy Chief Minister also urged the police department to initiate corrective measures for ensuring that no such untoward incident occurs in the future. Meanwhile, expressing grief over the incident, Patton extended condolences to the bereaved families of the two Jawans and announced an ex gratia a rupees two lakhs each to their next of key. Patton further cited that the police headquarters have been already directed to send a proposal to the government for appointing the next of kin of the deceased in the police department on compassionate ground at the earliest. When I came here as a chief case for the first Lotha Middle Range Students Union concluded its unit tour for the tenure 2022-24 on Thursday. It may be mentioned that the union officially conducted a meeting with the village councils, staffs of government establishment departments where they had interaction with the students and NGOs within its jurisdiction. During their tour, the union detected many loopholes in the management system of all the government institutes. Furthermore, in the process of interaction with the concerned public, the union had also received numerous complaints of some government employees not being stationed at its posted place. Therefore, regarding this matter, the union has decided not to compromise with any issues concerning the public of its area and further, they will initiate stern course of action towards the defaulters. New Tobu Village Inaugural Program was organized by the villagers on Friday. Department of Underdeveloped Areas Advisor and Bongkhao graced the event as the chief guest and unveiled the monolith, which was dedicated by Tobu Village Baptist Church Pastor Reverend T. Fuhlen. Bangkrao expressed gratitude towards the government of Nagaland under the leadership of Chief Minister Nafuvio for completing the construction work after a lot of formalities and difficulties. Bangkhao also thanked various NGO leaders, public servants for their cooperation and assured the villages to fulfill their development needs. On the final day event of the 400th birth anniversary celebration of Lachit Borfukon, a 17th century Assamese general of the Ahum Kingdom, PM Narendra Modi, graced the closing ceremony on Friday in New Delhi in Vigyan Bhavan. Many dignitaries, including Union Minister Sarbananda Sonowal, along with Governor Jagdish Mukhi and Assam Chief Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma, were present during the program. While addressing the gathering, Modi paid tribute to the great Ahum icon. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reiterated his anti dynasty political pitch saying no individual or relationship is bigger than the nation. Hailing the courage of Assam's Ahom general, the Prime Minister cited that life of the legendary strategist who killed his own uncle for failing to fulfill duties towards the motherland at the time of Aurangzeb's invasion of Assam in 1971. He also further mentioned that it's an honor for India to celebrate 400th birth anniversary of the hero. During the country's Amrit Kaal of its independence. रामायण और महाभारत की सचित्र पांडुलिपियां असम के प्राचीन तत्वों के प्राचीन साक्ष्यों में से एक है निधानपुर और तुबी पूर्वी राजकुमार सुखा ने इतिहास के दौरान पश्चिमी खतरों से गौरवान्वित और अपराजित 
और इस अवसर पर एक प्रदर्शनी भी लगाई गई भी इस अवसर पर आयोजित क्योंकि बेहद महत्वपूर्ण योगदान उत्तर माँ भारती को लासित बर्फुकन जैसे अदम में वीर दिए हैं कल पूरे देश में वीर लासित बर्फुकन की चार सौ भी जन्म जयंती मनाई गई इस अवसर पर दिल्ली में तीन दिनों के विशेष कार्यक्रम का आयोजन किया गया है ये मेरा सौभाग्य है इस कार्यक्रम से जुड़ने का मुझे अवसर मिला हमें वीर लासित की चार सौ भी जन्म जयंती मनाने का सौभाग्य उस कालखंड में मिला है जब देश अपनी आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव मना रहा है पुण्य अवसर पर लसित बर्फुकन के महान शौर्य पराक्रम को नमन करता हूँ आक्रमण कार्यों का मां भारती के कोख से जन्मे वीरों ने डटकर मुकाबला किया लासित बर्फुकन भी देश के ऐसे ही Following the Mukro firing incident that shook entire Northeast, Meghalaya Chief Minister Kongrak Sama, along with state delegates, met Union Home Minister Amit Shah on Thursday in New Delhi. Over the incident, Shah assured Sangma that Central Bureau of Investigation will probe the firing at Mukro area of West Jantia Hills District. It may be mentioned that six people, including five from Meghalaya and an Assam Forest Guard personnel, were killed during the incident. Furthermore, the suspension on mobile internet and data has been extended for another 48 hours in seven districts to maintain law and order. Meanwhile, the All Assam Students Union and the Khasi Students Union over the tragic incident demanded better security measures along the Assam Meghalaya interstate border. From the state government, the demand came after a meeting held between the delegations of the students' body. A memorandum of understanding was signed between Kohima Science College and GIZ India during a workshop on current and traditional practices for sustainable management of aquatic ecosystems at Kohima Science College in Jotsama on Thursday. Notably, GIZ India is working in four northeast states of Nagaland, Assam, Manipur and Meghalaya under the Indo-German project on protection and sustainable management of aquatic resources in NERAQ. The project also aims to strengthen the knowledge and management capacities of state and local stakeholders for climate-friendly management of aquatic freshwater ecosystems. A program of Nagaland Health Project took place at Capital Cultural Hall in Kohima on Thursday. Minister for Health and Family Welfare S. Pang Yuform during the program stated that a first state-level project funded by the World Bank, which is implemented by the State Department of Health and Family Welfare with its focus to cover district hospitals, community health centers, primary health centers, sub-centers and its catchment villages. Tom further informed that the project has helped in the construction of the upcoming medical college at Kohima by taking the initiative to construct the library and theater block. It may be mentioned that the contract was signed on January 2021 and the work is likely to be completed by July 2023. On an average, Nagaland Health Project has achieved 95% physical and 82% financial progress from the procurement section. Altogether, 33 CHC, C, PHC, village health centers and sub-health centers, where three centers, each of the 11 districts, was awarded certificates and cash prizes for the best performances of the NHP. The success can be attributed to the whole Kosho, who is a retired ALM, donated and What the health committee is implementing is for any shortcomings. Health committee, members come, workers come. So it's healthy, it don't naka Nagaland Health Project. Scale Magana Abnaga Kinigal Lapi, Falcon Corporation, 
The Nagaland Health Project has made great strides in uh, improving the existing infrastructures uh, at the, um, <clears throat> and uh, the renovations and repairs at the district hospitals, various health facilities in our targeted sites, the central state warehouse, uh, nursing schools, and the PMTI. Now the repair and renovation of these health facilities have resulted in a very dynamic change in terms of infrastructure and also has smoothened the uh, provision of services at each facility level. Now to ensure that these changes in infrastructure are sustained, it is imperative that all these changes are adopted um, at the state department level as well. Um, a monitoring committee and mechanism needs to be firmly worked out within the department. Health facilities at all levels must actively play a pivotal role in ensuring that the asset created is maintained and utilized effectively for many years to come. Jimomi Huhu on Thursday celebrated its 75th anniversary of inception under the theme Nipu Nisu Nuanga Ke Peki Chepu at Zunheboto's Shepu village. The one day celebration began with the opening of 75th anniversary monolith program, which was chaired by chairman of the planning board, G. Ikoto Jimomi. The anniversary monolith was led by executive secretary Sumi Baptist Akukuho Kukakulum, M. Reverend. Hukuga Jimomi, where thousands of clan members were present. Emile Ino Azeto Jimomi, who also attended the event and released a souvenir to commemorate the 75th anniversary. Emile Ino Azeto Jimomi, along with Sumi Hoho President Ai Niketo Jimomi, stressed on the importance of knowing the roots of existence with the purpose of brotherhood. Furthermore, the pastor of Sheyu Sheipu Baptist Church, Aboka Jimomi, concluded the anniversary program with a benediction. Kichimna kumsiku ya, iti mje kichimu lom pimla kashi kumsani, ni jimu kichimu ko, tia kumane kashi kumsani, nye piche ne, ina kuchu shaki kono, ina ship na kemo isalulo, mami lom piche mle piche moi, ship na kaya ship tia salulo, iki mje salulo, ano kushle kya ipije pinche, tuho tay iti mu ko kichimu kyo. The eight interdepartmental tournament of Perun district kicked off on Thursday at the indoor badminton stadium in Jaluku with Deputy Commissioner of Perun Vineet Kumar gracing the tournament as the special guest. While addressing the gathering as the special guest, the DC congratulated the organizing committee for organizing the tournament in such a grand manner despite of time and resource restraints. Meanwhile, the official, he officially declared the tournament open in the presence of ADC Jaluki and wished the event a grand success. On the occasion of International Day for Elimination of Violence Against Women, Shamitra Battalion Assam Rifles conducted a lecture on elimination of violence against women at St. Javier's School on Friday. With an aim to end violence, Assam Rifles conducted interactive sessions with teenage girls and spread awareness on human rights, forced labor, child trafficking and social exclusion. The initiative undertaken by the Assam Rifles were appreciated by the students, teachers and staffs.
The Northeast India Academy of Performing Arts is set to organize the second edition of Open Nagaland Ping Pong Championship on November 28 and 29 at K. Kiri Indoor Stadium, NAP Training Center in Chumagadima. Players from Northeast region, including Manipur, Assam, Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh, to take part in the competition. Furthermore, the event is slated to be one of the biggest table tennis tournaments in the Northeast region as one of the top players in junior rank. Number 8, Zeho from Mizoram. Zoram will also be arriving in Nagaland to participate in the championship. The INA Nursing Home and Diagnostic Center of Jaluki in collaboration with Nagaland Tribal's Development Association, Public Decorum Jaluki and Medical Department of Perin will conduct a free health camp at midnight. Market complex in Jalugi town on November 26 from 10 a.m. The camp will provide free medicines and free checkups for gynae, eyes, pediatric cases and general diseases. Furthermore, tests for several illness will also be done for free. Notably, there will be discount or nominal charges for ultrasonography, physiotherapy, ECG, X-ray and minor operations during the camp. Ahead of the MCD election, a shocking incident took place in the national capital where Aam Admi Party leader Sandeep Bharadwaj allegedly died by suicide at his residence on Thursday. Regarding the sad incident, Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal, condoled for the departed soul, while the Bharatiya Janata Party demanded a thorough investigation over the matter. Meanwhile, Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Shishodia denied the rumour about Sandeep's suicide attempt due to not getting a ticket for to contest for the election. Sisodia said that Sandeep was a short ticket and connecting a person's death with a ticket is wrong. Sandeep Bhardwaj ji, who is a member of the world, I am also a member of the world, I am in Marble Line, and I live in Rajori Garden. What happened? What happened? मेरे पास करीबन सवा तीन बजे मेरे साथ खड़े हैं शाम सुंदर महेश्वरी जी ये एक यहाँ पर एक बहुत अच्छा बिजनेस करते हैं मार्बल और ग्रेनाइट का तो इनका मुझे फ़ोन आया कि ऐसे ऐसे संदीप जी के साथ हादसा हो गया तुरंत घर पहुँचो उनके तो मैं घर पहुँचा मेरे से पहले शाम जी पहुँच गए थे और ये अपना इन्होंने उसको गाड़ी में लेके कुकरेजा हॉस्पिटल उनको ले करके गए लेकिन डॉक्टर ने वहाँ पर डिक्लेयर कर दिया अभी इनमें कुछ नहीं है क्या लग रहा है मतलब वजह जो आ रही है सामने कि एम टी वी चुनाव में टिकट की मांग भी कर रहे थे काफ़ी सालों से कार्यकर्ता थे हाँ जी जी ट्रेडिंग में थे वो जब से ये आम आदमी पार्टी बनी उसके साथ ये शुरू से जुड़े रहे और जो यहाँ के विधायक हैं शिव चरण गोयल जी उनके साथ बहुत ही ज़्यादा उठना बैठता था मतलब उनका बहुत अच्छा काम राजनीति का काम सारा लगभग यही संभालते थे और इनको टिकट का वायदा हुआ हुआ था पार्टी की तरफ से ऐसा मेरे को सुनने में आया पिछली बार भी 2012 के चुनाव में भी तब इनसे वादा किया गया था और टिकट इनको नहीं मिली जो मैंने सुना अब भी यही हुआ इनसे वादा कर दिया गया और टिकट नहीं मिली मुझे लगता है कहीं ना कहीं इनको शौक लगा उस चीज़ का संदीप Ahead of the Parliament's winter session, Parliamentary Affairs Minister Prahlad Joshi will convene an all-party meeting of floor leaders of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha on December 6 in Parliament to discuss important legislative business. The minister asked the floor leaders of both the houses to cooperate in smooth functioning of the houses. The upcoming winter session of Parliament will be held from December 7 to December 29 and will have a total of 17 working days. Notably, this will be the first session of Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar as the chairman of the upper house. A massive fire broke out in the early hours of Friday in the shops of Bhagirath Palace Market in Chandni Chowk of Delhi. Several fire tenders rushed to the scene to douse off the fire. So far, no casualties have been reported. Former Health Minister Dr. Harshvardhan visited the site and said that the main building that caught fire was collapsing slowly as two floors were completely damaged.
Addressing the gathering at Indo-Pacific Regional Dialogue 2022 in New Delhi, Defence Minister Bharchanath Singh on Friday espoused the idea of multi-alignment and underlined the importance of Indo-Pacific region. Singh also voiced the country's intent for constructive en engagements in the region for shared prosperity and security. The minister remarked that Indo-Pacific region remains important for economic development of the region as well as the global community. Singh also added that India should not be guided by a narrow self-interest but by enlightened self-interest which is sustainable and resilient. The minister opined that India believes in multi-aligned policy which is released through diverse engagements with multi-stakeholders so that views and concerns of all can be discussed and addressed for a prosperous future. That is all for now. Keep watching Nagaland TV for more news and updates. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well.